Hey, a shout out to the acorn. Mark Neiser here with the Kids Cooped Up series. Uh, I too am cooped up here in my lair and uh, working on different projects, getting ready for the next tour, and hopefully we'll all be back together again. But in the meantime, I'm going to teach you guys how to juggle and make your own juggling balls so you can learn to juggle yourselves. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to make your own juggling balls now. Basically, you need to just run to the store or better yet, go online, Amazon, and just order three tennis balls. They should be about two dollars for three. I know you get two of them at uh, three of them at Walmart for about uh, three dollars for a set of three tennis balls. You can also use some old tennis balls laying around the house. It really doesn't matter at all. Uh, a tennis ball is the perfect size, uh, but it's too light. So we're going to add a little some pennies to it to give it a little bit of weight. To do that, you're going to want to have an adult uh, help you and get a utility knife of some kind and uh, you're going to get 12 pennies to uh, help you out there as well. So basically we're just going to take the utility knife, again you're going to have an adult do this, and you're going to make a slice in the tennis ball uh, so that you can insert the pennies into it. doesn't matter where you do it really, I like to do it away from this little cut here, and basically you just take it and make a nice sharp, just poke right in the ball. It may be a little bit hard to do this, this is why you definitely want to have an adult helping you. Um, because it does take a little bit of pressure to cut into that. You want to make a nice slice there, just big enough to fit the pennies in. And you want to close that off, and then you insert your 12 pennies. So get your 12 pennies in there, and this will give you the perfect weight for a juggling ball. Obviously you're going to want to do this three times. Total cost should be about $3 for the balls, plus the uh, 36 cents in, uh, in pennies. And there you go, the perfect, the perfect juggling ball. The basic juggling pattern is so simple. It's literally just taking a single ball and throwing it back and forth in a pattern between your hands in a small triangle. The only place you're going to be looking while you're juggling is right here in this magic dot, right where my finger is. That is going to be your sweet spot. You don't ever want to look down here while you're doing this because you'll miss. Because the time you look back up again, you'll miss all the stuff that happened up here already. So basically, you're going to take your single ball of the three you're going to make, and you're just going to throw it back and forth between your hands like this. And that's the only throw you have to make the whole time. That's it. That only throw. So you want to practice that a lot and get really good at making it nice and even and perfect. You'll notice that I'm never looking down with my head. I'm always looking up at that little sweet magic spot right there. So you're just going to throw those ball, that ball back and forth, get really used to it, get really good at it. Because juggling is not making good catches, it's making good throws. Because if you make a good throw, you don't have to worry about making a good catch. So we're going to just keep doing that, get warmed up. Perfect. Then when you get really smooth at that, you'll take your second ball. And you're going to throw this one up here. It's going to come halfway down from its peak. And then you're going to scoop your hand underneath and throw the other ball directly up to that same pattern and catch each ball. So it's going to look like this. So I went right, left. You'll notice both balls go to exactly the same height. Now I'm going to go left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. And you keep practicing that. That's going to be harder and you're going to want to make sure you switch off between your hands by starting with your left hand first and then your right hand, and keep doing that back and forth. Remember, we're not ever going to try to do this, which makes it really hard to juggle three balls. So we're going to avoid that at all costs. Awesome. So now we're going to do three balls. So you get your three balls out. You're always going to start with a hand that has two in it. It doesn't matter if it's your right hand or your left hand, but the hand with two is the hand that always begins. So all you're going to do is take your hand that has the two in it, launch the first ball in the air. It's going to come down from its peak halfway. You're going to throw the other ball underneath it. You're going to catch, as this ball starts to descend, you're going to throw the next ball underneath that. So to see what it's going to look like, it's going to go right, left, right, stop. You can also start the other way, left hand first, you're going to go left, right, left, stop. And the idea just being that you're just going to throw each time it comes down, throw the next one underneath it, underneath, 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 and before you know it, you're doing it. Perfect throws, easy catches.